Hi and welcome to this uh, SEO lesson. And in today's lesson, we're looking at rankings for two types of keywords. The first keyword is a keyword that has a high search volume. Check this out. So we have a graph here and we have a dashboard. And in this case, we're using Ubersuggest to track how keywords are moving on a website. So I want to use an example uh, today of two keywords, one that has a high search volume and a high search difficulty. What this means is that it's hard to rank for this keyword free math games because it has a high search difficulty of 60. The closer it is to 100, the harder it is to rank for and the closer it is to zero, the easier it is to rank for. So this keyword that I targeted has a high search difficulty and it has a high search volume and I'm tracking it for the location USA in this case. But globally, this keyword has over 300,000 monthly searches, which is quite high. And currently, I'm ranking in the 10th position for that keyword in the United States. And the thing is, the current position, which is the 10th, has not always been like that. Notice in the graph below that from August 23rd, when I started tra tracking this keyword, that is in 2021, to 2022, February, there has been a lot of fluctuations in the fluctuations in the position of this keyword. So we started off in the 17th position and then later dropped maybe right to the 85th position and went back up to the 16th position. Notice a lot of fluctuations in the positions from one day to the next. And every now and then it drops, goes up. But this has been like one of the longest period where this keyword stayed without moving up in a favorable way and then finally up again back to the first page of Google and it has been fluctuating at that level and hardly breaking that resistance point. So when you target this kind of keywords and when you are ranking for this kind of keywords, to get yourself to the first position on the SERPs of Google is kind of a challenge. And the question you're probably be asking is why all these fluctuations? Why don't you just get to a certain position and stay there? Like the sixth position or the eighth position of the seventh C, it was in the sixth position for dropping. So why didn't I stay in the sixth position and move up to the first position? When you look at keywords that have this kind of high search volume, there are a lot of competitors too who are trying to be on top of Google for that keyword. Because remember in the digital space, more traffic is what everyone is striving for. And the more traffic you get, the more money you can make out of that traffic, the more interactions on your website. So just getting to the first page of Google for a single keyword on a single page can make all the difference on your website or on your blog. But in this case, you cannot boast of getting to this first posi uh, position for this kind of keyword and staying there because your competitors are always looking out and trying to beat the competitor by working on other Google uh, ranking factors, maybe on page and off page. Some people are buying backlinks, maybe I'm pushing on pointing to their pages to see if they can get to the first page of Google. Some other uh, competitors are improving their quality of content in terms of length and in terms of what they are offering around that keyword. So it's a constant fight. Everyone wants to get to the top. But if you look at some other keywords that are, let's say a keyword like this one right at the top, just bear with me um, here, if you look at this keyword, it has consistently stayed in the first position. So no one is really chasing that keyword a lot for the simple reason that it doesn't have a very high search volume. Notice 210 searches per month. That's not what people are really interested in. So in this case, the competition is not that high. So when you rank for this kind of keywords, you're in a relatively safer space because People are not really fighting for that keyword. So it has stayed consistently like this. And for many years, this keyword has, this website has been ranking number one for this keyword. So the question therefore we're asking you is, will it make sense to go for these kind of small keywords in terms of volume that you can rank number one and own and hold that position for a long period of time? Or will you prefer to go for a high uh, volume, a keyword with a high search volume and play around those fluctuations. But that is a difficult question to answer. 
So in your SEO strategy, it's important to blend the kind of keywords that you want to rank for. Go for some of them that are maybe low search difficulty, but when you rank like low search volume, but when you rank number one for maybe you maintain the position for a long time. But if you go for the uh, very high volume keywords, expect a lot of competition and you see a lot of fluctuations in the graphs. So this is what kind of explains all these fluctuations. Competitors are always coming back strong and trying to beat the competition. I hope you understood what the SEO battlefield now looks like. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Also remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you love this video.